What's going on, everyone? It's Andy Singer with the Heartland Institute, bringing you more from climaterealism.com. So today, we're going to talk about a report that came out of the peer-reviewed journal Astrobiology. A group of scientists studied the Earth, applied what they found, and then tried to find the most efficient way to find life on other planets. So essentially, if we look at the entire Earth, polar regions, tropical regions, everything, which areas of the Earth are most conducive to life, and how can we apply this to find the most efficient way to find life on other planets? Here's what they found. Based on our experience from Earth, the highest biomass and biodiversity is present in tropical rainforests and the least in cold polar regions. So specifically what they did find is that if you're looking for life on other planets, you should look for temperatures about five degrees Celsius warmer than they are on Earth, which is about nine degrees Fahrenheit. And part of what they found is this. More moisture is more beneficial than less moisture because of the fact that it'll lead to more rainforest-like areas and less desert-like areas. Now, the benefits of a warmer climate are that more ocean water is evaporated, which leads to more inland precipitation. So essentially, the warmer the temperature is, the more ocean water, which will be evaporated, I'm repeating myself, and the more precipitation you'll get on inland areas, which leads to de less desert-like conditions and more rainforest-like conditions. But the really, the, the most interesting part about this study is that it was not done in the climate change debate. These are scientists that are looking for the most efficient way to find life on other planets. They're not trying to prove a point here on Earth. So they were dealing with all of the government influence and grant money and all of that, and pretty much the entire climate change orthodoxy that will force a certain opinion. Now, I would expect this report to deal with a lot of rebuttals. I would expect a lot of the climate change orthodoxy to push back against it. But the interesting part is, when removed from the debate, they actually found that warmer temperatures are more conducive to life which is what we've reported here in general. We have said that warmer temperatures have led to greater crop yields, less severe weather, a lot of things like that. So overall, we, we agree with this finding. But this is interesting. It was removed from the debate and they found warmer temperatures are better. So I wanted to bring that to all of you. Until tomorrow, Dandy Singer with the Heartland Institute. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.